friends welcome to bank exam cafe and in today's episode on case study based questions class 10 cbse as per the new pattern 2021 we are going to discuss the fourth questions previously we have uploaded the three parts part 1 part 2 and part 3 and the links of all these three parts are provided in the description box you can go through all these three videos also so let us see the fourth question on case study based question which is on the screen friends the question is on chapter number 2 polynomials here quadratic function on a banana is given in the figure and it is said that the quadratic function can model the natural shape of a banana now we know that the parabolic shape must have a quadratic function therefore an equation in standard form of f of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c to find the equation for the parabolic shape of the banana we need to find the values of a b and c from the banana picture above we can see that the quadratic function is able to model the banana quite accurately with a is equal to 0.1 b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 0 therefore the equation is f of x is equal to 0.1 x square so here the banana whose equation is given as f of x is equal to 0.x square it means a is equal to 0.1 b is equal to 0 <coughs> and c is equal to 0 and you have to answer the questions given below so let us see the first question which is on the screen name the shape of banana curve from the given figure you have to name the given shape whether it is a straight line whether it is a parabolic or whether it is a hyperbolic or any other i am not giving the options here i am just directly asking the question that name the shape of the banana curve from the given figure so here you see that it is a quadratic equation and therefore the shape of the banana curve is of parabolic in shape and so the shape of the banana curve in the given figure is parabola so your correct option will be parabola now move to the second question very simple questions these are the second question is that find the number of zeros of a polynomial for the shape of banana friends we know that the number of zeros to the quadratic equation are that points where the uh, graph of the parabola intersects or touches the x axis so how many times it is touching the x axis this is the curve correct and this is the curve it is touching or intersecting the x axis at one point only then we say that the given equation has only one solution and therefore the number of zeros will be one and therefore here the number of zeros that is equal to one suppose this is intersecting the x axis at two points this is the first point and this is the second point then the number of zeros of this polynomial will be 2 if it is intersecting three times suppose it is like that the equation is like that then it is intersecting three times then the number of zeros of the polynomial uh, will be 3 and therefore here in this given figure in the given curve it is intersecting the x axis at one point only and therefore the number of zeros is equal to 1 now friends let us move to the next question the question is that 
if the curve of the banana is represented by x square minus x minus 12 then find its zeros if the curve of this banana if the curve of this banana is represented by the function that is x square minus x minus 12 and you have to find the zeros so how will you find the zeros equate it to zero then by splitting middle term find the factors of this quadratic function and therefore we will first split the middle term so it will be 4 3 is 12 correct 4 3 is 12 so minus 4 plus 3 that will be the product will be minus 12 and minus 4 plus 3 that will be the sum will be minus 1 and so the factors will be x square minus 4x plus 3x minus 12 that is equal to 0 so we have split the middle term now from the first two terms take out x as a common factor so inside the bracket it will be x minus 4 and here 3 will be the common factor so inside the bracket it will be x minus 4 that is equal to 0 again here the common factor is x minus 4 so x minus 4 is a common factor so inside the bracket it will be x plus 3 that is equal to 0 and now friends the product of product of these two brackets is 0 product of these two brackets is 0 and therefore either this bracket should be 0 or this bracket should be 0 so x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x plus 3 is equal to 0 and therefore x is equal to 4 and x is equal to minus 3 and therefore the zeros of this function uh, will be x is equal to 4 and x minus 3 friends here you can escape this uh, this fact uh, this uh, step you can directly write this step also and if these are the options then you can do it orally also once you have got this x minus 4 minus 4 and plus 3 then the value of x will be plus 4 and the value of x will be minus 3 there is no need to do this calculation but if this type of question is asked for one mark then you will have to show the calculation and steps also so friends here if it is in the option form or the mcq question then once you have got these two terms two numbers uh, then you can directly write the answer that x is equal to 4 and x is equal to minus 3 without wasting the time so here now move to the next question the question is that if the representation of the banana curve whose one zero is four and the sum of the zeros is zero then find the quadratic polynomial and so here friends it is given that one of the zeros is four it means that alpha is equal to four and it is given that the sum of the zeros is zero so alpha plus beta that is equal to zero this is given to us and we have to find the quadratic polynomial so how we, we will find the quadratic polynomial very simple we have got alpha is equal to 4 put the value of alpha here and you will get the value of beta so it will be 4 plus beta which is equal to 0 and therefore beta is equal to minus 4 now how do we write the quadratic polynomial that is x square minus sx plus p that is the quadratic polynomial so s is the sum of the sum of the uh, roots and p is the product of the roots so it will be x square minus sum of the roots is 0 so this will be 0x plus product of the roots that is alpha into beta so that will be 4 into minus 4 4 4 the 16 so that will be minus 16 plus minus minus and so it is x square minus 16 and this is the quadratic polynomial of the given roots of the equation that is x alpha is equal to 4 and beta is equal to minus 4 
so friends the case study based questions will be the most easier it will not be difficult we have seen the four parts and in all these four four parts the questions will be very simple and easy to solve so there is no need to get disturbed that which type of the questions this will be whether it will be difficult or simple of course it will be simple so friends i hope you must have enjoyed this video if yes please like the video share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel so friends thank you very much for watching this video